Hi everyone, this is Evelyn, and if you hear me speaking like this, um, I was I was hospitalized. I had a slight pneumonia and um, very bad asthma, but I'm doing so much better. So I decided to make a video because I'm getting bored to death doing nothing. <coughs> so if you hear me coughing, <coughs> it's because I'm not. You know, I'm still. And the process is healing. They got me on antibiotic, prednisone, you know, that works, right? So I'll live to that. <laughs> mm. Today's tutorial I want to share with you guys this dress form right here. I'm sorry. I spoke, I think I spoke about this in some of my videos. I made it out of a water bottle that's it a water bottle and you could cut it to whatever size you want your dress to be this is going to be a little taller to the one that I had made a long time ago so I'm going to do my best and um, try with the big one okay and what I'm going to be doing which I didn't do with this one because you know how you learn that's how you learn the hard way so I'm going to use this for my support so like that I can move around and put the lace but I'll take it out and once I'm like halfway take you know take it out the cup and I'll show you guys materials I'm going to be using I'm going to be using some little piece of lace around the neck um, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree this nice little trim here I'm going to put that around the bottle lip because don't take this off. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't take this off when you finish the bottle and you cut it to where you want it to be cut. This one is cut up to six line because you know it has that rigid. So I count from the top to the bottom. Mine's um, it's seven. The other one I think is three or four. I'm not sure. But do not remove the top of this because you're going to need that. That's going to hold everything. So what I did is I um, cover up with a piece of paper. That's all you need to do and not worry about it. It's not going to show. You can see this one doesn't show. Because, you know, the, the finished look is not going to allow it to show. So this piece right here, you know, anything of your choice is going to be around the, around the, the white bottle top. And I chose this as my dress. And as I'm going on, I might change it. I don't know. But the first thing I would like to do first, I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with my little pieces. And I'm just going to, I'm going to take it off for a second so like that you can see a little better. I'm going to go around. See that white part right here from the bottle top? I'm going to go around and cover that up, okay? So that's going to be your first step. I'm going to be using glue stick. You can use it with, even with six, E6 downs. It works the same. But I want this to be quicker, so I chose to do the glue stick. I think I put too much glue. Now try to put it like towards the top more than you're going to go on the bottom. Because, you know, with the, with the rest of the uh, material that we're going to be using, it's going to cover all that. So you want to make sure you cover and even cut it too. So hopefully, as you're going around, you know which to cut. Okay. And that's it. And just you know fix it up a little and it's gonna look like this okay and that's my first time. I'm gonna stick it back into my cup give me a little support then I had cut some of these I had how much I had left over I know I had a few where I got it from okay I got some pieces of lace from my stash and I just cut them in pieces because right now I'm going to use this 
and go around. Okay? This here. I'm going to, I'm doing a little different from what I did with my other dress and hope that it works out. So this is not something that I plan. I'm just going to do it and hopefully, you know, it works out that way. I'll just do sort of play games with me. I'm going to take a dash of that and then I'm going to stick it to the collar, like a column, just going around. just going to go around. I think I can fit, yeah, I can fit in the one, two, three. Yeah, I can fit about three going around. It, it, it might overlap very little, but not much. I have to, and the reason why I'm stopping is I want to make sure that I'm not off camera, so you see me stop a little because I'm looking at you guys. I want to make sure that you don't miss anything. You know what? Maybe I don't have to use. You know what? If I stretch it a little bit more, I don't need to have to use three. This is great. I'm not gonna worry about that little gap there. You're not gonna need to see it. I might put something around that, so I don't know. So for now. I'm going to leave, I'm, I'm going to work with two. Okay. Now the fun part. I'm going to take my ribbon. And since I didn't go all the way to the top, I should have measured it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go around and I'm going to start cutting my pieces instead of going around and around. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure first. And then make my first cut. So I stay around there. I like to sometimes just overlap it a little bit. I think I got this piece. I'm hoping it's the same size. And it may not be. So what I'm going to do is, which I should have done already, you know, cut my pieces. I didn't. I just do two by right? two, so just in case. Cause I don't know as you, I don't know by going down. You know, see, if I do this and move around, that's why I advise you to put something heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put glue on here. I should use my. This thing takes so long to come down. I mean, it's coming down, but it just takes so long. And the reason why I want to do this because then I can play around and move it where if you use the glue stick, it's stuck and you can't move it. So I'm going to pick up my column and just start from here. Pick this up. I'm not pulling it, I'm just going around. Because once I get it where I want, then I pull a little bit. Then I'm going to pull the column down. So that way you don't see it. Okay, it's flying down just a little bit. Because it's still wet. You see, with the glue stick, you won't be able to do this. That's why I advise you to use fabric glue or any of your favorite glue that dries fast. Because something like that, you know, you need to move around. Okay. This is what it's looking now. And then I'm going to see, I knew it was going to be a little bigger than that. It's okay. That's the reason why I shouldn't measure from the top because you know how the shape of the bottle. 
so I'm going to go under here each layer I'm going to be going under and under and under so I'm going to pause here because I don't want you to watch me doing the same thing but all I'm going to be doing right now this is the first lace that I put here first then I'm going to take my um, second lace and I'm going to put it underneath and that go and as it follows every ribbon that going around is going to be underneath and I'll come back and show you once I'm done with that okay I'm back and I'm already finished so I need to get a closer look look like nothing now right just got to get finished more I just wanted to let you know how I, I I layer it already and this depends on the material this is more ruffia the one that I got over here this is I'm using a different wider um, lace so it looks a little bit more flat but once you finish it it's gonna look much prettier um, that little remember I mentioned that white little column here I said I need it too um, I kind of it left a little tiny gap on both ends so what I did was I took a piece of this column what I used already but only thing is see these little danglings that comes down I cut two pieces and just cover that those two gaps I didn't like the way that looked so now you don't see anything now this beautiful trend right here I got this in Amazon uh, Oh, it's in Chinese, made in China, of course. I'll put the link down so you can know, but look how gorgeous. Let me see if I had a dark mat. Let me see. I'll probably put it right here. You have to see the beauty of it. It's so, so pretty. It's pearls, but it has a little bit of rhinestone on it. Look how pretty. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to wrap that around the column. So it can look more classic because I don't I don't know if it's gonna be shabby like this one this one I consider more shabby this is like the twin because I haven't finished it yet so I don't know what's gonna look like once I'm done with it so I'm gonna go around with my glue stick Doing section by section. I still got the the bottle, the cup of bottle on, and still laying on that. So just get, it just gives me a little bit of support. Otherwise, I'll be moving that way. <laughs> Take my scissors and give it a snip. Okay. Okay. See if we hang down a little, it's okay. So I finished the top hem. Now I'm going to work on the column. And I'll show you how I did that. I took uh, one of these little wire frames that come in this pack right here. I don't know what they call them for. But this is what I use. I have it right here. Oops, sorry. I keep on kicking the. Um, I think it's a. I got this at Michael's. And I know they call the Flora Sten Wire. So what I did was, I kind of bend, I didn't even want to bend this, I think I used this, any little bottle, just to give it a nice, you, know, you want to get the shape of it, like I said, and it depends how high or, 
you know, like I'll measure it first before I, you know, continue putting the material on there. So I think about this much will do. Get my wire cutter. And I'll give you the inch of it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it so I can even it out. Then I'm going to do the second piece and go by this measurement. And um, I, like I said, I eyeball most, but if you want to know exactly what I cut, because like I said, it depends on the bottle that you, this one here is almost three inches. So when you bend it, it becomes, I said three inches, right? Probably a, a one and a quarter, maybe. Am I right about that? I'm not so good at math. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this with. I have to do it with my hands. I just want to get the cut. Okay. Let me. I might have to cut more, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to stick it inside one of those pieces. You don't have to stick it all the way. Just enough where you can pinch it down. Not that much. And it's a little crooked, you just fix it up. It's not going to come out. So that's one piece here. And this is going to be the column part that I'm doing. That's this part right here. What I'm doing is I'm trying to find a hole. And that's exactly where I'm going to stick this piece in. Okay, I'm going to wire this more. I want it to be even. But the purpose of this video, I'm going to try to do it quicker too. I just want you guys to get the basic and the idea how I make the water bottle. And then later on you could play with it. So I just want to, I don't want to say too much on, you know, trying to fix it up. But I really want you to get this the idea. Now you could use the same column, which I would love to do. So what I'm going to do is, and why I didn't do it when it was on there, because I wanted you to see exactly what the wire looks like. Otherwise, if I would have did it with the wire, that you won't get an idea. Probably you would. I don't know. I'm talk, I'm, I look at the, you know, the, the beginning craft of the one that just started. So I think of them more. I'm sorry, but you know, that's, you know, you got to give them a chance. And I always say that in my videos. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to measure from here to here. So we're going to cut. This is going to go around the edge of that wire. So I'll say about this much. It's probably like almost three inches like I did. Oh, got it my down. Okay, we bend. Once this, once this thing, I'll start sticking a little piece, you know, some glue inside it. So can just, I just want to put my material first before I do anything. But, you know, it seems easy, but when you put it together, it could get a little difficult. I don't know if I want to use this column because it looks too big. Um, I did bring out a trim. Well, what did I put it at? I was planning to use this, but since this is, I don't have white, I can't. So I'm going to work with this. I'm not too crazy about it because the, the line is just too wide. But you know what? I'm going to use it just right now. They just like that. I just wanted to show you the basic. That's all. So I'm gonna put some glue sticks on this on on that little metal, the wire, so my materials can um. I I can get some glue on here. Okay, that looks good. And make sure we got the right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze it. And just watch you don't get burned. Like 
this. It's just not that bad. It's just you know, this here. I'm sorry. I just need to wire it up, you know, to make it wide, so it won't be too close with the other one. Like I said, later on you could fix it up. Um, I should have measured before, but I didn't. <coughs> that was so smart of me. Right, and just I was like, yeah, okay, so it's about this much. But I like to go a little bit over just in case, and then I'll just trim if I don't need it. And I'm going to do the same way like I did the other side. I'm going to put some. I like making dress foil and just all different types. I have a, a die cut I'm going to show you after I finish this. It's pretty big. I My daughter got married and I actually made her a book out of this die I'm going to show you. Um, and it comes, it, it, and it's from Aqua Cut. So these are very big die cuts. And I bought the bride and the groom came out really really cute I might put a picture of it I don't know if it's in my um face e stampily I have a Facebook with that which I need to get in there and fix it up because it looked like I'm selling some stuff from there I don't know how I set it up when I first did it but I usually don't but I, I notice people go and check it out you know what I'm saying but the way it's set up I don't like it so I'm going to probably delete that page and create another Facebook for Oni Crafted Oni. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, come out again. All right, come on, not on camera. Okay, I don't want to play with it so much. I'm going to take it out of here. And it looks like this. How cute, right? All right, and now for my centerpiece, like I, I, I want to put something on, like on the waistline, because this is more in the column. This, what I see, you know, how I see my point of view. Um, what I had planned was, let me, let me see if this works. I bought this at the Dallas store, guys. Look how pretty. Let me take out one so you can see what this really looks like. Before I do it, I need to take a glass of water. Mm. My mouth gets so dry. I think it's the antibiotic and the and the prednisone that they get for me. So pretty. It's like a lace and the little pearls inside. But for some reason, my sticky didn't come out. I want it to be stick on. And I might stick that right in the middle or maybe over here. Let's see. I mean, you could go, you could do more and more. I just like the simple things like this one right here. You can see the little pearls. I just threw a little pearls in there. So you could you could add on and on. For my column, I probably will do. I'm probably going to take this piece of um, string and I'm probably going to hit the corner. I'm definitely going to do that. I'm not going to go through it with you, but once I finish it, I'll take the picture like always and put it to the end of this video so you can see the rest of the stuff that I add on. And I'll tell you, but this little flower here, I'm going to put it right on the center. Let me get my, um, this stick. And I'm going to put it right there. Because you can't tell what's, what's the back and what's the front, I'm being honest. You just cannot tell. So, it looks like this. Is that cute? Now, um, this idea is not my idea. I saw... I went to a Sweet 16 and they had these with candies and a top over and I didn't believe it when they told me this was made out of a bottle. I just had to look at it 
Um, they, I, I was able, my granddaughter was able to get the souvenirs. I just told I wanted to take a picture of it, and I guess I think of this myself. But um, I think this is a beautiful um, souvenirs that you give out. And what they did, they stuffed it with candy, and then they used a plastic or I think card stuff or cardboard, and they just glue it in there. But, you know, after you eat the candy, you got yourself a real pretty dress form here. I think it's so, so pretty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish it off with, I'm going to use some of my bling. I'm going to go around my column. I might add little stones, like maybe little rhinestones in here, like I did with the other ones. And that's about it. And then, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll show you what that looked like. I hope I'm not missing anything, but I would like to show you with you the next um, project. I might do another one. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm working on... I was going to plan to probably even use this in the back of my dress. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these molds. Now, this here, I'm way, I just did this morning. Uh, and what's my glue paste? I'm sorry, I'm going quickly because I don't want to end this, but let me just show you, and let me show you this. All right, um, this is cake molds, guys. I don't know, I, I, you, you, I, you're probably seeing that, but for those that haven't, um, if you ever go this route where you're going to use this as a mold and not, for, not to just use it and then use it on cake, no, 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 don't do that. This is only going to be used for crafting only, and this thing is the best thing to use for this and I'll put the name down if you're interested on how you know how it's being done I can even do a video so guys how simple it is but this there goes the wing out of this mold look how pretty I oh my god this is so, oh, I, it comes with the butterfly I'll show you the lace right now but I'm going to show you the butterfly of course this is the butterfly because I already got it. And, and it, I like to have it overnight to make sure that, you know, when I pop out, that it will be nice and dry. And hope that I got enough. Because if you put it very thin, it could be flaky. So it takes a little practice, I'll be honest with you. Um, and I show you the wings already. And that's from this one. And the butterfly. And the laces. How pretty this lace is on. Let me show you one, two. See the lace here? That came from here, which I already did some, so I'm waiting them to dry up so I can have some more. But the wings, guys, what I was planning to do, let me just put this to the side now. I was thinking of taking my wings and maybe add it here. What do you think? You think that would look so pretty? Maybe for not this dress. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. But it does come a left. I think this is so cute. Oh, don't you think so? Let me put it in closer. Put one side and this side like this and the other side. I might. If I don't. My next project is this, I own uh, like AccuCut die cuts, I, I mentioned that many times, and um, I was working on one already, I haven't been finished, but this is, it, it's, it's this side, which is, I'm going to tell you how, how big this thing is. It's almost nine inches wide and from the top to the bottom it's almost seven seven by nine it's a very um, big die and it is wide so with this one here I had to snip here and snip here because I the, the dress that I'm working on I don't want it to be too wide so I kind of made it a little shorter and I might go even a little shorter depending how my material is going to be and I will definite um, you know what I have made a dress already let me see if I this is what the dress looked like 
this is the one I made out of these that this chipboard that I have and it's from Acucut right and I and look and I even shorted it more you can see the inside see how, how I didn't go wide enough because it really depends what I'm looking for but this is what I made and that's about it um so hopefully maybe I'll do another dress form or maybe I'll do something else because there's a few dies from Aki Cut that I want to it's like a recipe um, box that I want to make if not that I don't know Let, let's see what happens because I'll say one thing and then I'll change it to another thing but I hope you enjoy this video um, please um, if you have any questions you know leave your comment below for the newbies that haven't subscribed please do so fingers up um, I, I'm hoping to aim for 500 um, subscribers more because I have a beautiful gift to give away. And it's going to be a cricket from the Cricut Die. And I ain't going to show you because it's going to be a surprise. And um, But it's definitely going to be, uh, um, what do you call those, Cricut Die Cuts. And I have a few that I was selling and I haven't sold them yet. But... I will take one of them out as a giveaway, all right, because I haven't done that for a long time. So this is about it. But until then, thank you for watching, and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.